Hello everyone, Pixel Monk here, and welcome to the Monk Cave. Now I have decided to do something kind of new and kind of a traditional sense in our Monk Cave episodes, and that is with a book. We have this lovely book right here, and that's going to explain what we are going to be doing in each and every single episode. So let's open it on up and let's open our book of things to be done. Episode 9. We are going to check out the Pet Sanctuary, which is just right behind me. It is 100% complete. We are also going to start on our mushroom farm. And if we have time, we're going to go and check out the nether system and start building on that as well. So let me turn around here. As you probably have been hearing lots of dogs and cats behind me. Dun, 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 dun. Here it is. Here is the Pet Sanctuary, 100% complete. The only thing that it's missing is way more dogs and cats. <laughs> As you can see, I have quite a few already. About six or seven dogs and cats each. They are sitting on the chest because they are wanting their fishies. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Well, I can't access it if you're sitting on top of it. God, you cats. I've got a clownfish in there right now. I obviously have to do lots more fishing. And uh, they're out of steak. I've only got one steak left. I'll have to get some more but this is how it's looking like so far i've added the grass i've added a lapis trim on the dog side and i also added a redstone brick trim on the cat side and we got some flowers and uh yeah we have just been breeding these cats for a while now and hopefully this room will be filled so here it is one last time we're checking out the pet sanctuary here let's check it out from the other side as well very, very simple design. The only thing I dislike is the grass. I might get rid of it because it makes it difficult for me to make dogs stand and sit. That's the only thing I don't like. So I might get rid of that. But besides that, we're 100% done. And I've also added some new features as well, which is this little thing. And this corner just looked really boring. And I thought, you know what? Let's add Let's add a little something to the area. And also I needed a place close by in which I can fish. Now I'm not sure if um, this is good enough to fish. Like, cause I got my fishing rod in there and that seems to work fine, but no fish ever come up. I don't know what the technical requirements of fishing are. I'll have to look that up on my own later. But yeah, I, I need some place close by where I can catch the fish for the cats. <gasps> Oh my god, it actually, it actually worked. I was not expecting that. I thought for sure I would have to make this pond bigger. But, okay, <laughs> you know? Because sometimes when you put the, uh, the fishing rod in a small space, it does that. And that, of course, is not very good. Uh, the torches I'm going to replace later on with some... Uh, glowstone probably and I might expand this out back a little bit add some more sugar cane or something like that but so far I think this little pond is a, a nice little touch to this area I've also kind of updated my vine farm here all I really did was add a row of stone across the top and this will triple my vine count because before I just had it on this one wall and it takes forever to get vines. Now this isn't like my permanent vine farm. This is just temporary while I uh, am working in my nether system because I'm creating mossy stone bricks. And I am surprised how much or how many vines you need to do a large project. It's, it's, it's a ton. You need a thousand blocks. I mean, that's kind of almost what I've gone through is about a thousand blocks in my nether. Uh, just for mossy stone and so I had to update I had to update this farm a little bit now I'm getting triple the amount it is working fantastic and let's see how much I can get on this one little run here I think I already had a, a whole stack so we'll see what's what we're gonna get okay so about one pass through this vine farm here and I got a little more than a stack I have to say that is quite impressive and as as I cut them, they still grow, and it, that is just perfect. That is exactly what I need. This is just temporary for now until I um, get my nether system done, my jungle system, which I am going to show you later on, and then I'm going to update it, make it more AFKable if I can. Now, the next thing uh, we are going to do is work on our mushroom farm, and I have decided to put that right over in this direction, right around the corner here. 
kind of by uh, kind of by my elevator out. Now I'm not going to include all of this. This is where I'm going to put my tree farm eventually, but through these two doors, I guess you could call them, is where I'm going to be putting my mushroom farm. It is going to be 17 by 17, and I kind of have a good design going so far. So how about let's start doing that. Let's start creating our design. And uh, all you need for a mushroom farm is... Oh, I gotta count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. All you need for a mushroom farm is seven by seven by eight to make it completely uh, uh, able for you to grow mushrooms. And it has to be on either the, the grass, podzel, or the mycelium. I don't have any mycelium because I've never found a mushroom biome so far in my world, which is another thing that I gotta get to. Ooh, whoops, I built a little too far there. That's another thing I gotta find. I don't like the mycelium in this texture pack. It looks too much like grass. It's just like a darker version of grass. So I'm gonna have to change that out when uh, when I can with another texture. And right now I'm using, uh, I think this is the Conquest texture pack, which is amazing. I love this texture pack, but there are a few things you always got to add and update and change uh, for, you know, your own personal preferences. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick with my traditional uh, stone stone brick walls here for this room as well. You know, I'm, I don't know because I see, I think it'd be like really cool to have mushroom blocks for the walls, but I think then it might be too much if you know what I mean. So, hmm, I gotta think that one through for a little while, but uh, I'm gonna wait for the, for the grass to kind of settle in. And I want to show you guys my nether system that I want to work on. All right, we are now in the nether. Now this is my jungle rail, which brings me of course to the jungle. And that's what I'm using all this mossy stone for. And as you can tell, it takes a lot because it's not only in the floors, it's in the walls as well. And so uh, this, it, I mean, this is a long rail. I, it's taking me a long time to add the mossy cobblestone to this build. Whoa. Oh gosh! Oh no! Oh no! This is not not what I wanted today. <laughs> that was not what I wanted today. Where did that thing come from? Oh, I gotta get rid of the fire before it burns this whole thing down. Oh, I see it. I see it in the distance. I never thought a ghast would. Oh, it's way back there. I can't get it with my uh, with my arrows. Shoot. Oh no. This thing is just destroying everything that I have. Stop it. Stop it. Stop it. Stop burning my stuff. <laughs> oh gosh. Oh gosh. This is not what I wanted to happen today. This is not. This was not planned at all. Okay. Quit it. Quit it. Stop burning all my stuff. Stop it. I'm on fire. I'm on fire. Okay. Okay. Calm down. Oh no, this is terrible. This is really bad. Stop. No, no. Oh my god, it's all burning. It's all burning to the ground. Stop it. Stop it. I can't believe this. That stupid ghast is causing me lots of issues. I need a... Oh gosh. I don't think this is going to do anything. I... Oh, I never expected a ghast to get in here what the heck is going on there's just fire everywhere it's destroying my system this was so pretty beforehand now it's just ah oh gosh oh gosh i can't get that one let me put a block on top of it if i even can okay it's out now that my system is completely destroyed by a single ghast <laughs> gosh what bad luck. What bad luck to have in a video. Uh, let me clean up this mess a little bit. 
All right, you guys, I think I have finished the mushroom farm for today. As you can see, I did a little bit of work and I don't know if I like the design. I just kind of threw something together here. I still have to add in the leaf roof to kind of flow along with the rest of my monk cave here. But that is going to do it for this episode. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you did enjoy. And if you did, please hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you next time. <laughs>